All right, what to make, what to make. Hmm. Leftover chicken? Oh, definitely not. Oh, Greek yogurt. Just had that though. It's not really a dinner either. What else could I, oh, I could have some cereal and milk. That way I don't have to cook. I want something hot. No, not that kind of hot. Something warm. This means one thing. side delivery. Alright, let's see what we got. Hmm. What's going on Melf Maniacs? As you can see, I'm back here in my apartment, sitting in front of my camera, and you know what that means. Another at-home food challenge for you guys. This week, we are doing a Domino's menu challenge. You can get a lot of pizza, and a lot of food at Domino's for pretty cheap. They have their $5.99 mix and match deal and their pizza overall is pretty well priced. They got sandwiches, they got some new cheesy bread. I'm gonna put together an order. As you can see, it is a little after 5 p.m. I'm not gonna pick up this food for a few more hours, but I do have a few gift cards that I'm gonna use towards this. We're gonna be buying over $30 worth of food, which doesn't sound like that much, but from Domino's, trust me, it's gonna be a lot. Another thing that I'm doing is I am ordering all these pizzas uncut, not telling them to cut them at all. Last time I tried this, they didn't listen to me and they cut them, so I'm hoping they don't do it. My theory is that if they don't cut it, it'll go into the box quicker and it'll stay warmer so that when I'm in here, Eating it in front of you, it'll be warmer and easier to go down. I'm gonna eat some pizza. 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 I'm gonna eat a lot of pizza. Let's go. All right, guys, we are officially back at the house. As you can see, I got my Domino's. I got five different things here, three medium pizzas, a large, and then a little surprise in here that I'll be unveiling during the video. It's a little after 8 p.m., but now the real test. I haven't done any thumbnail pictures yet, but want to see if they actually cut my pizza or not. I'm hoping they didn't, like I said. Surprise item. Let's see. Did they cut it? They didn't cut it. Awesome. These things are starting to get cool though, so gotta hurry up. All right, Mouth Maniacs, I think we're good to go here. Got all my pizzas. Unfortunately, when I looked in all the other boxes, they cut the pizzas even though I asked them not to. It just so happens that the first one I opened was the only one they didn't cut. Now all the fun stuff's out of the way, thumbnails are all done, it's time to get down to business. We have here, Three medium, two topping pizzas, plus one of them I added my own fried onions to. We have one large three topping pizza, and then the surprise item, like I said. I'm gonna give myself 45 minutes to eat all this food. No idea how much this weighs, but calorie-wise, we're talking between 7,500 to 8,000 calories worth of food. This is the Domino's Menu Challenge. Oh, let's go, guys. Let's start with this pizza. Oh yeah, so this is the one that I added onions to. Start the timer. Boom. Pizza cutter. So this first pizza is ham, green peppers, and I added my own onions. Let's go.
think everyone knows this by now, but Domino's has really stepped up their pizza game recently. And they changed up their recipes. But this will be great rather than yellow. One down. What do you guys think? Large or another medium? Yeah, I think we're gonna go with a medium. Let's see what this one is. This one should be cut, like I said. What are we working with, guys? Ooh, it's gonna make some people angry. Ham and pineapple. Is Hawaiian pizza a thing? Is it a good thing? I'll let you decide. I'm gonna save these three until a little bit later. Switch up the flavor. It's time for the reveal. I was always curious about how much bigger a large is versus a medium. It's 14 versus 12 inches at Domino's, so Domino's 14 inches is a large. It does look like it's getting cold though. We have a premium chicken, ham, and roasted red pepper pizza. This is a large. We're doing okay time wise. But yeah, this is cold. in with the pineapple and throw these in the oven. We will see them in a few minutes. We have this medium two topping. This surprise item. And I'm kind of excited about this one because I've never had this topping on a pizza before. It is instead of a pepperoni and mushroom, this is a salami and mushroom. Let's see what we're working with. It's falling apart. Let's taste it though. Salami is definitely a milder flavor than pepperoni, but still a little bit of a spice to it. Looks like we're about 19 minutes in. Definitely starting to really feel full. Really bad job at cutting this one. Try the secret item and then we'll come back to the pizza. All right, without further ado, let's unveil the secret item. What we have in front of us here is spinach feta cheesy bread. I've heard really good things about this particular flavor. Let's see what this is all about. Very good and cheesy, but you get towards the end and there's like no filling. There's not a lot of spinach in here. The middle is much better than the edges though. <laughs> We're back with the remaining slices. We got 60 minutes on the clock left, but I'm full. I thought 45 minutes was gonna be enough time, but the thing I wanna mention is my personal favorite uh, pizza challenge videos on YouTube. One of them would have to be um, Eric the Electrics, Domino's Pizza Challenge, where he tries to order every menu item pizza from Domino's. There's like 14 or 15 different pizzas that he attempts to eat um, in like an hour and a half or something. Jeff Esper, he's done Domino's, he's done Pizza Hut, he's done Little Caesars. The man can eat some pizza. I know for a fact he could eat probably seven of these 
Domino's medium pizzas without really pushing himself. One of the best out there. I'll be happy if I can finish this slice and one more. I'm not gonna try to push myself in these videos anymore till complete pain. It would've been nice to get everything done. I thought it was doable, but uh, it really is tough when you're bringing home a bunch of food and it starts getting cold. I'm glad you guys tuned in. I'm glad to be making more content for you periodically. And as you guys know, you gotta stay healthy and then stay hungry out there. See you guys in the next episode.